Police in Kenya are playing down the threat posed by Somali group Al-Shabaab that follows the release this week of new research claiming the group has international ambitions. Al-Shabaab already has killed scores in Kenya with attacks such as the Westgate siege. But police claim they're beating the group. Here now is CCTV's Robert Nagila with more. Once a threat primarily within Somalia, Al-Shabaab is first becoming a regional organization. A new report by regional body IGAD says its military wing has expanded into two units, Jaish Ayman, responsible for attacks in Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda, and Jaish al-Usra, whose focus is Ethiopia. So far we are doing well. But while conceding the militant group poses a serious threat within Kenya, police say more times than not they are able to degrade their capabilities before an attack. There would be pockets. But the structure how we have, we, have, we, have, we have placed ourselves, how we are collecting our intelligence, it's not possible for them to operate for too long to an extent of committing offenses before uh, we have information. But Al-Shabaab's activities in Kenya don't end there. They extend to recruiting Kenyan nationals and to financing its operations. Now, according to a local daily, several businesses in this part of Nairobi, known as Pumwane, are under surveillance. Security agencies believe that the proceeds from these businesses go to fund terror-related activities. The report identifies this man, Ahmed Iman Ali, an Al-Shabaab commander, as running the businesses through a proxy. The businesses include boutiques, go-downs and makeshift stalls dealing in second-hand clothes. But Kenyan police have dismissed claims by EGAT that intelligence agencies are not sharing information. It's a little bit far-fetched uh, that we're not sharing intelligence. Remember, we have so many things that we are, we are sharing in common as a community. If we can share business, then why not intelligence that protects our countries? Security sources say with Al-Shabaab under pressure back home, it had been expected they would launch terror attacks across the region. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.